I don't actually um I need to I need to get into a better habit of actually like promoting this before going on. Oh, what, doing, like, little, like, stories or whatever? Yeah, like, actually, like, build up build up a bit of hype to be, like, we're actually going on online. I've been just kind of... Yeah, that's true, yeah. But at the same time, it's just, like, this is, like, a random thing that people will be able to, like, stumble across and they'll be like, oh, look, mm -hmm. it's Pete and Yano having a chat on the internet. Maybe, maybe I'm going to... Maybe I'm going to stay around. Maybe. True. Um, it's just... It means less people to, like, listen to anything sus that we might say as well. <laughs> 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 well i think if anyone was gonna do that it would probably be you rather than me so yeah probably i you don't mind it. i'm gonna have a beer i'm gonna have a beer yeah i'm right. gonna have some water you know uh volks was my first rum and coke well my first alcoholic drink of the year i, I thought you i thought you meant like not your first ever rum and coke the first rum and coke no it was my first of <laughs> 2022 your first your first rum and coke what were you you doing um Stop. No, what do they call it? What's the dry January? Were you doing dry January? Oh, dry January. Have ha, I mean, are you are you trying to tell us that you actually have like a little bit of an alcohol problem? Is that what you're actually trying to say? No, nah, I just has it got has I, it got serious? <laughs> has it got serious? I just, yeah. No, I, I barely drink to be fair. I just don't really enjoy it. You don't enjoy it? No, not really. What's what, what about it? Do you not? What about it? Do you I not don't know. Enjoy? It's just like I, I think it's because the entire time I don't really enjoy it as much because I'm thinking about the hangover. Mm, mm. So I don't really have a good time with it. I mean, what you're supposed to do is then just like drink through the hangover, so you you don't. Yeah, know. I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> it does work. Yeah, that's where I'm going wrong. It can it can it can work. I mean, it can also be like one of the worst ideas that you you've ever decided to decided mm -hmm. to do. Um. But yeah, you didn't really, you didn't drink any, you, well, you literally, you said you had one, um, literally just one uh, drink at Overview Brighton. Yeah, yeah, I literally had one and I was like, nah, it tastes like shit. And so I gave up. But <laughs> it's nothing against the vaults, it was just me. What? Because what... it was my first drink in like three months, well, two months. What? What is your drink preference then? If someone, if someone, if someone is in a rave or someone's in a dance or, or someone's at a pub anywhere and someone wants to buy you a drink... What would mm -hmm. you What would you take if you could, preferably? A rum and coke. Just... <laughs> <laughs> a rum and coke. That's why I know it wasn't the Volks fault. It was just me, because otherwise I would have I would have loved it probably. What you didn't like that one? You didn't like that rum and coke? Nah, because it was it was I, it, it I was probably drank in in so long. Oh, I see, I see. You weren't like I, I didn't even drink at New Year's Eve or anything. <laughs> so... Oh dear. But well, have you, have you been drinking? I don't know how this has turned into uh, like an AA support network already. <laughs> so just tell us about your addiction, please, James. Like, how how long has it been since your last drink? Like, <laughs> that, that was my only drink of 2022. It's that one glass. Are you planning to keep that up? Then is that like a thing that you're gonna like? Yeah, make? I guess until I feel like having a drink, I suppose I'll just keep it going. Yeah, fair enough. I think it's. Uh... I think it's good to have those moments where you do sort of take a bit of a step back from something like that. Because like alcohol is alcohol can be very fun, but mm -hmm. there is definitely uh definitely a darker side to it as well. Oh yeah, definitely. I think, like, I... You, people like get addicted to like I suppose like anything though. It's just like such a hard thing then to get out of. Because I suppose for them it's like that euphoria that they get at the end of the day. Oh, like, oh I'm stressed. So I'll just like, have a drink or something. But I mean, with I think with alcohol, it's like even to the point of where it's actually like physically addictive. Like your body actually like genuinely needs it if yeah. you don't have it. Like, and that's the mm -hmm. you know you can get. I mean, that's that's the crazy thing about booze. To be honest with you, I know we're about to get on like a proper like soapbox rant about like <laughs> alcohol, but it is so ridiculous that a drug like and, and it is a drug like alcohol. It's completely legal, and don't be wrong. Like I, I think I, I, I'd love to drink. Like <laughs> I know, mm. kind of, and it's part of obviously the culture of, of raves and 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 whatever, really. Um, but it is a very, it can be a very dangerous drug if if abused, and the fact that it is just completely legal, and yeah, you can buy eighty percent proof of it <laughs> and whatever. Yeah. And like that's complete that's fine. We'll allow you to do that. But these other these other things, we'll put those in the on the naughty list. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird balance, isn't it? And it's like, I feel like probably like weed and that stuff isn't far behind. I, I shall, 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 like, shall we say cheers? Cheers to that, by the way. Dude, drink in that. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. On that note, I'll have a, I'll have a drink. <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, it's one of the reasons that I kind of stopped because um, I, I did do the like podcast with cocktails for a while. If you remember the cocktail podcast. Oh yeah, I remember that. Didn't you make a there, there was like a Rizzle one? Remember I that? did a Rizzle one. We did a Skylark did. one. I think uh, there was a Violet one for Dan as well. Yeah, like, I, I, that was really tasty actually. And they were they, to be fair mm. with you, they were all banging, but. Not only did I get really, really drunk on the podcast, like <laughs> a couple of times, and a couple of times it was like really, you know, I did get really pissed. And then it was just like, I getting caught up in that cycle of like, I do a podcast every month. So it's going to be like, right, yeah. I'm going to have to now make a new cocktail each month. And obviously, the cocktails are not cheap either. Like, I know I could obviously like be, then I'd be like, over time, I'd be like storing up alcohol, but I just mm-hmm. wasn't too sure. Like, after a couple of experiences and like again it's that thing about being able to trust yourself be like right i'm gonna make these cocktails but i'm only gonna have a couple of them or yeah i'd be sitting there and and you'd get carried away very easily and end up drinking like seven or eight of them or whatever or whatever and then like, yeah it, it happens so easily yeah yeah because like to be fair with cocktails they don't really taste like alcohol either they just taste like fruit usually no that's it and some of them were like yeah really too easy to drink and and as well, just that thing of like, yeah, I don't know, maybe a bit of an example to set. There was a bit of myself. It was a bit like, should I should I really be going on and getting hammered every <laughs> every month, like live on the internet? Like, I don't oh, know. It's good content. I mean, look, don't be wrong. There was <laughs> there was some great content that came out of it, but also some very questionable things. I mean, obviously, the goat sheds uh, was probably the apex of me drinking on the internet which you probably remember do you remember that hey, which one <laughs> the the stay at home goat shed uh i keep on, oh, going, right. I keep on going on yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah 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 you remember yeah, that, was, that, was, <laughs> that was bad like that, that was, was one. that was really bad to the point of where you probably would like it was yeah so i've tried to sort of like rein it in a little bit try to be a bit more i did ha- i did have this idea i think it would be cool and i think it'd be cool if someone did it where they you take a different drug each time each podcast and like document your document your trip <laughs> how many legal ones could you get through me <laughs> well no no <laughs> no, no no you do the illegal ones as well like oh, okay okay come on you have to you have to admit that'd be quite a good concept for like a live series like would it always be you doing them or would it be like would you get loads of different or do you mean just like in general what do you, I'm talking about like in general, so just get like. Oh, I thought you meant like an overview special like content. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, you're gonna get like different artists every time. <laughs> yeah, right. We're gonna sit down with Wings today, and we're gonna try two CI or something. Have like... to like sign a waiver. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't think I don't think yeah, I'll I don't be able to get, get away with that. It. Well, I just I don't not sure how many people would be up for that idea, but I, I genuinely think yeah. it could be an interesting thing to go live on the internet, and like you know, sit there and talk through the experience mm. that you're having and, and actually kind of, yeah, a bit, it, would, it would, I think that would make yeah. really interesting viewing. Uh, yeah, and I mean, again, people do it on YouTube though, don't they? With like YouTube videos. I've seen, some. I've seen a few guys on YouTube that do, uh, whether or not they do actually, I, I, I know there's that one, there was that one guy, um, I forgot what his na- name is. Uh, and he was doing a lot of like drug reviews and talking mm. about his experiences. But I don't know if he was actually like, on the drug at the time which i think would be the okay. diff- which would be the difference like actually yeah yeah like right in my i mean probably some of them he had to i mean that that guy actually he ended up having a fucking breakdown as well recently oh, fuck no. yeah yeah he, he did this video of him like up in the mountains because his like wife and his kid like his wife walked out on him or something <laughs> and like because because he it actually had spiraled into like real addiction mm. and stuff yeah, wow, this is uh, already, <laughs> already, already a fascinating, right, fascinating we've got conversation. Alcohol, drugs in general. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my, I've got, I've actually got a little bit of coffee here. Um, I'm actually. Um... Coffee and Carlin. Wait, what was it? It's Co- coffee, 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 and a beer. I mean, that oh, is uh, oh, San Miguel. Should I put, should I pop it, should I pop it in and see what it? Uh... Oh no! What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, that's not the one, is it? Mm, you know what? That's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. Is it kind of like an espresso martini, but 
Oh, it's got a li- it's got a little bit of espresso martini vibe to it, but okay. I've only had espresso martini once, and it was a bad to, experience. To, to, to be fair with you, I have actually had um, coffee beer before. To be honest, <laughs> oh so this is. I, but look, look, I'm bringing back. I'm bringing back the cocktail podcast uh, episodes <laughs> today. We've got the Yano Lust uh, drink, <laughs> which is <laughs> a milk coffee and. San Miguel. <laughs> uh, it's actually not that bad. I, I, we, I did have I did have a beer that it was a, some Polish a Polish brewery, and they mm-hmm. made, they did beer with garlic, which was one garlic beer. Um, I don't like garlic. Coffee beer as well, chocolate beer. The garlic beer was actually wasn't that bad. I mean, if you don't if you don't like garlic. I don't yeah. really like garlic. <laughs> I don't really drink anymore. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably not it's a good mix. T- t- two things. That was it. Yeah, we went to um. That was like a food festival that they did. They did lion burgers there as well, and you could actually buy a. Wait, little, wait what's a lion? A lion? No, a lion burger. So a full so on. So made out of a lion. Yeah, actual like and zebra. The lion burger did cost quite a bit of money. I can't remember like a hundred percent how how much that cost, but. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> um, but do you feel do you feel a bit better in yourself? Do you do you actually feel like? Have you? I feel pretty much the same, to be fair. But I mean, I, I suppose I didn't drink that much to start with, so pro- I've probably gone from like having a night out every two weeks to kind of not really drinking. But like, you still got, you still got, you still, you still gone out a bit. I'm, no, I'm guessing. Um, not as much. I, I mean, haven't been. I haven't like, for example, in Jersey, I haven't been on a night out since. Boxing Day. Wow, so really, just, really? Yeah, yeah. Because I've literally just been at home, just either working on music or just watching films. I mean, I you um, know, I, I do see you very active in our Discord, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and your own, and, and your and your own Discord. Shout out, yeah. to, shout out to the Discord crew, by the way. If anyone is watching, I don't know if anyone, I don't know if anyone. We should probably post about it. We should probably post mm. about it in into into Discord. Hello, hello to anyone from Discord that is watching right now. This is kind of a, a live, a live Discord chat. I mean, I think for me, I, when I, because I, I had, um, I had given up alcohol before for a little, for a brief uh, yeah. period of time. I, I lasted three months. Three months. There we go. Thanks for for reminding me. I've got my my assistant in the background. Um, mm. Yeah, I lasted. Th- I lost it. I went th- for three months, completely teetotal of every, everything. Uh, and it was um, it was good. I think that's that thing mm-hmm. of like, you, like you're saying about you don't feel any different, but obviously you just you don't feel worse. Like you don't. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't feel crusty every Sunday or Saturday. That's the thing. This is it, and that's what I that's what I vividly remember. And obviously, any time that obviously I don't go out or whatever, you'd be like, wow, it's Sunday, mm-hmm. and I actually feel good about my life. I can actually do things. I'm not just gonna. Yeah, li- I'm not just gonna lie in bed all day like. You know, You've become like ten times more productive. Like for me, working still obviously like a nine to five, Monday to Friday. It's nice to still be able to then be productive on the weekend rather than just relying on sort of weekday evenings. Because mm, mm. otherwise, I'd just stay in bed all day, just like watching films or playing games. So it just like it wouldn't work out. And I think you know it's not bad to do that. You know, every every now and again, but. It is that danger of obviously when you start getting caught up in the in the sort of cycle and mm-hmm. going out every weekend or going out during the week, especially when you're younger as well. I mean, I yeah, know, definitely. Know, you know, you're still you're kind of you're maybe at that sort of like transitioning age, maybe where because mm-hmm. I think from the ages of like eighteen to sort of twenty three, it's like it's all about going out every weekend and yeah, it used to be nonstop you know. and like I feel like. I've got my fair share of it now. So <laughs> I'm an old, I'm an old man <laughs> now. You wait, you wait, you wait until you get to my age. I mean, but I mean, that's the thing is, you, if you still want to, you still can do that. It's not, and there are people out there, mm-hmm. and there are, you, yeah. But obviously, when you start getting, like you're saying, when you start getting a bit older, time become, you start having less time, mm-hmm. having lots of responsibilities. All of a sudden, you have to sort of weigh it up and go, okay, well, I could go out and session till yeah. until 6 a.m but what is the repercussions of that going to be and and yeah you know doing it once or twice or whatever but 
it becomes a very difficult thing. So I know I'm, I, I think it's I think it's a good uh, I think it's a good move to to do. Um, mm, I mean, it hasn't been like a like an intentional thing. It's just come naturally, which I think is the best way. Because it, you know, it's not like I've had to force myself to not drink. It's just it's just happened. It's, yeah, which is nice. Yeah. You have, or you haven't had to like fall to the depths of despair with addiction to be like, right, I need to make a change now. Like you're just like, no. man, <laughs> you know, I can, there's better things to do with my time. <laughs> yeah, but luckily I didn't have to go through any dark stages to get there. I was alright. I could, I could imagine you'd be alright. I couldn't imagine you ever. I can't imagine you ever doing that. To be honest, I think if nah, maybe, nah. maybe if you were to get addicted to anything, it's maybe Discord and maybe yeah, sitting probably. on your computer too much. Maybe. I, mean, I think that already is a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the annoying thing is, obviously, you know, that, that's a that annoying, that difficult thing with that addiction in a way is that it obviously is helping you progress in, yeah your career mm. i think that's one thing i would say that's um definitely admirable i don't know if that's the right word but i would say mm. i'd say you, you do and this is only from my sort of like observation of a of a producer that you are very online in in mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of respects and you're very you, you know you engage very much with the online world um which mm. i think is yeah you know say like having your own discord server for example like that is quite a new thing but and i think that more people will do it but then it's that thing of like as you know like you actually need to actively get involved and and be there and be yeah. present and be kind of like generating it have you got any have you got any secrets have you got any tips for for why that has happened or do you know why i mean do, no, do you know I mean, why that is i suppose in my eyes the sort of social presence is probably it's probably just as important as the actual kind of you know you, you can't promote something if you don't really have a following to start with it's quite difficult so it's important to kind of be present online and be able to gain a fan base that you can kind of rely on to help share your stuff mm. so if you're not active people aren't aren't going to feel engaged with you anyway Mm. I can hear a lot of like nineties junglers kind of like all oh, echoing in the background going, Oh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've moved on from vinyl now though, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, this is it. But no, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I think you know, I think you you know, I think you're you're right. Um uh, you know, and whether yeah, again there's sort of like uh, you know, could people could argue that it's that there's negatives to that or or it's annoying, you mean know, oh it, well, it should be more about the music than how mm. well you can but then maybe i don't know maybe it go it go like goes hand in hand with it in you know in a way nowadays like you're saying like to have and I, yeah and, and i've certainly noticed that from yourself of like yeah you yeah having that kind of presence and people you know, wanting to to follow you and you engaging in that world uh online and i think there are certainly a number of people that could yeah take note i i would say not to say <laughs> in a mm. in a way um but obviously well, i suppose it's like there, there's so many artists nowadays which like you find that have such low you know sort of recognitions like some so so little recognition um and you kind of see like their, their music's great but they don't really have much presence online which is what really makes them lack any sort of getting that attention yeah, so getting get, getting what they're a, getting enough getting enough attention like because it's that thing yeah, it's yeah, that thing yeah. isn't it you got you can't rely you know i think serum put it serum was talking about it the other day uh, he put a put a, uh, a status up and he was talking about how yeah obviously there's a, you know the label's responsibility who you're working with and us to like mm -hmm. help promote you but then yeah you know is yourself and and you, yeah you can't be too reliant on other people you can't be reliant on other people you know the tools are there to use uh mm -hmm. if you if you then engage in it and use it and learn it that it's only going to help you really it is like i'm the yeah. right rights or the wrongs of it it is the world that we we live in now you've got to play uh, by the rules in a in a in a certain way i mean i think um you know that elijah 
you actually shared recently one of his posts. It was like he does like the yellow sketches with the black text. You know the guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. he was doing one about social media recently, which made a lot of sense. It was kind of a lot of people are afraid of sort of making it too corporate as well, which happens quite easily when you know you're just sharing banners or you're just sharing artwork, and it's completely. When it's completely sort of like marketing yourself on there, but with, you know, based on your music. But he made a good point about kind of, you know, you need to make it your own and have fun with it, because otherwise you won't stick with it. Mm. And I think that's an issue mm. that a lot of people do have. Yeah, yeah. And I think, yeah, I think it can be, well, I think it can be tough maybe to have the confidence to to do it in a, in a way, um, mm. to, to truly be yourself uh depending on and some people are some people maybe a bit more don't care so much about how how because it's that thing or how are people going to think about this and i have it myself yeah, you know when you're when you're trying to sort of put something up that is more personal or is uh yeah you know maybe not even related to to mm. you know music even you know what i mean and and you'd be like, oh, how are people actually going to take this? Am I just going to look a bit stupid or look a bit... Should I just be talking, you know, more seriously and just talking about what you need what you need to talk about rather than, mm -hmm. like you're saying, having a bit of fun with it? And, and that being a really difficult art to master. And people would say, you know, I know people, you know, people praise us and praise kind of overview for it. Uh, but it's not to say I, w I always get it right. And I certainly struggle with it at times. Um... Yeah, and in in terms of how far you should go with it, and yeah, yeah, at, at what point should you be serious, or or what can you get away with? Um, but I guess it's about. Well, sorry, yeah, I was just gonna say it's about no. fight. It's about you, you know you got to trial and try to see what works or what doesn't. I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I think at, at the end of the day, it's just be yourself because otherwise, you know, when when you you want people to follow you for who you are and then when you meet them in person you want them to be like oh i met him and he was exactly the same he's fucking great and <laughs> you know if you if you're it's like if you act overly confident then when people meet you they're just going to be like bummed out anyway so it's like i mean you or, or balance, uh, you right? know unless you uh, i mean unless you're playing a character maybe you know yeah and, uh, you know yeah, things are true. you're you're presenting something that is meant to be different from yourself but mm -hmm. But then that's yeah, that's again how clever you're gonna potentially be with it, I guess. Um, but I think I think there is something in in you know being authentic, and I would say someone like Serum, to be honest, I think um, you know there's a few of those guys like yeah, do it really well. Um, yeah, in terms of just the way that you engage people and mm. and 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 get kind of that yeah, just get people wanting to know what's happening and keep on coming back yeah. and wanting to stay alert and wanting to follow you and um and make you stand out i guess make you stand out from yeah from mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of people doing it um but it, yeah i guess it you know it's, it's hard you know it is it said you gotta put the time in spend a lot of hours yeah, <laughs> hours <laughs> hours on your computer <laughs> <laughs> getting involved in but, discord at the end of the day yeah it is obviously very rewarding when it, when it pays off so it's definitely worth putting the time in i agree we got we got a few people in the chat uh in the chat is that the right thing to say hello hello big up to anyone that is uh listening or watching right now uh someone has commented on just how lovely my clean shaved face is today it I know. is it's clean i actually fucking love it <laughs> you love you love it i don't know i think i i i, I accidentally shaved it off I do look younger and maybe a little less kind of homeless. homeless. I wasn't going to thank you again. My lovely, <laughs> my lovely assistant is backing me up. Um, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I I, I needed to shave and then it, I took it off. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. You do you reckon just... you ever go short on top? Or do you reckon the long hair staying? Um, I thought about it, but I do think that... Um, I just love my hair a bit too much. I do think mm. that I, I, I think fair. I need I think what I need to do is I need to like tidy tidy it up a bit maybe get it mm. a bit because it's it, at the moment it's a bit like split ends and I haven't really taken very well care of it. But no, I think I think I'll keep it until it falls out maybe eventually. I don't know maybe <laughs> maybe it will. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, 
I don't know anyone else that is in. Big up to anyone else. We should probably give this a share, actually. I should probably give. I should probably try try and like um, do some promoting um, for it to say that we are we are online. Uh, big up to anyone that is in. Let us know where you're from. Obviously, if anyone uh, in the chat has got any questions for Mr. Yano here, uh, he will be more than happy to to answer them for you. So you know anything, anything at all. Any questions about the release? Any questions about Jersey? I don't, there must be some fantastic, uh, <laughs> some fantastic things we could learn about Jersey today. How how is how is how is things going over there? Um, I want to move, but it's it's good. It's I want to move. <laughs> well, I do. I swear you no. are you are meant to be moving, right? I mean, I yeah, don't know that, quite what you're true. quite what you're doing. Yeah, what, what's the, going on with that? Is... Tell me, what's going on with that? Um. Well, the plan is to move obviously to the mainland. Um, it's just finding a place that's the hard part. Um, we've kind of chosen a place, um, but yeah, we just we can't find the actual prop the right property, I suppose. Because if it's the right one, then it, it's already gone by the time that we actually find it, which is the annoying part. We try to move to Bristol, right? Yeah, which that's I, the plan. which I think just about everybody is trying to do. Yeah, that's the issue. I I mean, yeah, you should just be like, look, we're we're drum and bass people. We're drum and ba I'm a drum and bass producer. You need me in Bristol. You don't have enough drum and bass producers in Bristol right now. You need another yeah. one. You need another one. I think that is the issue. Yeah, there's a real real I, scarcity of it. I, I I said I said what would be a good idea because I know you're talking about moving with like Ollie and stuff as well. Just mm -hmm. come to Brighton. Just come to Brighton. Like, no. you know. <laughs> oh, no, what? Not. Why not? Why no. not? Why would, uh, come on. Uh, Why not? Explain to me. Why would you not come to Brighton and you were, you're you so set on Bristol then? Not that I've got I anything just... against Bristol, but Bright, Bright, Brighton is better. Brighton is better. <laughs> I, mean, right. I mean, we work, like, I was considering Brighton at one point. I was probably like this time last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you, ca and then you came to Brighton and were like, nah. <laughs> nah, well, was that what it, <laughs> it was that was that what it was <laughs> i went the first time right and i was like yeah this is all right to be fair and then at, at some point along the way i just changed my mind i can't tell you what it is because i have no clue well you but were supposed just... to i thought you were talking about going to to the netherlands though as well yeah that that was on, on the cards as well um but then that that was mainly just thinking obviously shows wise and actually connections and stuff it just makes so much more sense to be based in the uk and i'm closer to the homeland if i ever need to go back so yeah yeah i mean makes more sense yeah i guess in flights are probably a lot easier that to get from the uk than they are from the netherlands maybe mm, yeah probably yeah, like I, I, over, but... I think there's a flight for jersey to the netherlands or there used to be one to amsterdam i think it was like once a week or once every two weeks, something like that. So it didn't really make sense to do it. We we've got um we have got uh <laughs> we've got someone saying that um so Brighton is just overcrowd uh Bristol is just overcrowded apparently. Um I mean oh yeah, I do feel like I do feel like I I, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be a mixed one Bristol. It would be good because there are so mm. many people there, but then I just don't know how yeah, I don't know from a drum and bass perspective how tough it might be because everyone's there. Like, yeah, I mean, my first option wasn't actually Bristol. My first option was London, but I was, it was kind of more. It'll be more expensive, the cost of living, and also it just makes more sense to rather than moving in on my own somewhere in London. It makes more sense to obviously move in with everyone else. So London's cool, but man, that is that is a really expensive city. And mm, yeah, that's and the it issue. Could, it could be cool. I don't know. You're a bit of a country boy, though. I think the big city would be too much for you. Well, I hate the countryside. What? Oh, <laughs> what? Don't disrespect the countryside. Andre asks, uh, do you know Clarence? Apparently. Uh, he's asking if you know Clarence. <laughs> I don't know if... Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy, actually. Yeah. He um, said, uh, please also next Heron Cop. I don't know. Oh, Heron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to be buying any more of that for a while. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, well, thank you very much for that question, Andre. Uh, you are appreciated. Um... We have a question here. We have a, we have a serious question here from Luke Goddard. Big up to Luke. Have you ever thought 
about writing an album? Ba dum boom. Um, I mean, obviously, I think everyone's thought about it at some point, but realistically, I probably won't want to do it for like until I've really decided on my own sound and really kind of get an opportunity to develop on it a lot. So I wouldn't want to write an album at the moment. I'd probably wait about, I don't want to give a time frame, but let's say like three, four, five years time is when I'd actually consider doing something like that. Nah, just do it next year, man. <laughs> just yeah, write I'll just, it. I'll just push it through. It'll be fine. I mean, I, just, I sometimes, I sometimes like, because there's been a few people, because I think this is a, I'm only going to go into a rant about myself. I mean, I, I get the argument about being ready or mm -hmm. have, you know, being, I suppose the worry is like more technically gifted, but I do sometimes wonder if people, sometimes people in drum and bass worry a little bit too much about that. Well, only because only I, I, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe from, from, I guess from my, I come at it from a very kind of different position because I'm, I'm not a producer and obviously I, I couldn't sit there and tell you how, difficult it might be i guess it depends on how critical of your own work that you, you may be i guess mm -hmm. um because i do see you know you do see a lot of like say fantastic bands or fantastic artists throughout the course of history musical history mm -hmm. like fucking mozart do you know what i mean was writing his, uh, his first like sonatas at 14 or whatever or you know, yeah. you, you get some of the best, you know, best bands, you know, writing albums already straight off the bat. Like, so I, I don't know. I don't know sometimes whether or not, like, wh when is the right time to wait for that, you know, in a way, like that being I a mean, difficult question. In in my opinion, it, it's not the actual technical aspect. It's the, it's kind of, because it's, it's a big, bo like a piece of work or a body of work. And it's kind of creating a car, like a, a relationship between all of them. And it's, it's making that storyline obviously connect rather than you see some albums that come out and it's just like, they've thrown 10 club tunes in there. And it's just, it's not really an album. It's a, it's more like a compilation of your music. Mm. Whereas I think with an album, you really want more of, you know, like a, sort of plot to it and a journey to it so like i, I would wouldn't want to do it fully drum and bass i'd want to do like different genres in there that show different moods and all that sort of stuff but it's not something that i'd really want to approach at the moment because it'd probably take up a lot of time as well to kind of get it right because if it wasn't right i just i just end up throwing it in the bin <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we were actually we uh, were talking to someone today actually who's been writing an album, and I think they've scrapped like two albums mm. uh, because they're just not happy with it. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, <laughs> I'd probably I'd probably be sitting there going, "This is fine, <laughs> like <laughs> this sounds I mean, great." Because <laughs> you need to think like even with like an EP, you kind of you want that consistency with like the four four or five tracks or whatever. But you think about how many tunes get you kind of decline yourself out of like, let's say you make 15, 20 tracks for a four track EP and you only choose four mm. and the other ones just get scrapped. You think of that on like a scale of like 12 to 16, 18 tracks then. Just don't scrap, yeah, just don't scrap that many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Make them all good. Come on. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, if you make them all good from the start, you'll have issues. I see, this is what I mean. Like, you don't even have to worry about it. They're just all... All work. No, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I mean, like I said, from my own perspective, I, it, it's difficult to like, but obviously like, cause I'm not gonna lie. Like it's something that we, we haven't done yet um, mm -hmm. with, with Overview and I'd, I'd really like to do it, but obviously it would be a very kind of different, uh, yeah, different project. Obviously again, not having the experience of doing it. And, and I guess it is that thing of like, albums i guess there's that whole sort of debate at the moment about how how necessary are albums or how relevant uh, yeah how because how difficult albums are to kind of put out in the kind of current nature of mm -hmm. of music but i would say that you i think you've, we've had a few sort of successful albums kind of come through in the last sort of year or so Maybe. yeah i mean you look at like spencer's for example that uh, i mean 
that that's a, an example of doing it properly i think because you know mm. he took his time with it and he like made like a, almost like a perfect piece of work <laughs> so you can't really fault him on much there so that's a good example but that did take him what i think like nearly three years i think maybe i think from yeah potentially maybe even longer than that i think yeah but that that's the sort of work that it takes isn't it but then i could probably name you like three four that were made in like 12 months that... or less <laughs> yeah that, you know but, but yeah, yeah but then I, I don't know but then but then maybe i don't know again uh, yeah it's difficult to to know what would work or what wouldn't like because you could say oh yeah that's you know that's the way that is the way to work to the way to write a perfect album is to write the way mm. that spencer did but necessarily just because that was the way the work for spencer may not be the way that it would work for someone else maybe there oh, are yeah, definitely. yeah maybe there are people out there that would be able to write something quicker or or yeah just come yeah. up with it with an idea i yeah i don't know but i think it'd be interesting to kind of if you were it'd be interesting to talk to people that have written albums mm -hmm. maybe this would be a good thing to actually try and find out like speak to these people like actually know like look how long did it actually take you what was your yeah what was your th thought process behind it what yeah which tracks came first what was the kind of and if you were to map out each different sort of producer or, or whatever and get a different history It'd be really interesting to see yeah to definitely. See, see see something like that i have a, i mean there probably is you could probably find out interviews and, and stuff i guess um on that kind of thing I, I don't know that i've seen too much but that'd be an interesting thing to ask maybe our spencer might ask spencer actually actually we've been we've been booked we've been booked we should probably uh, announce that oh yeah true. <laughs> we have, uh me me well uh james and, and myself here and emma b as well emma b is playing <laughs> um yeah playing at a night in ha is it hackney it's hackney isn't it um i think the name of the club is night tales loft I've never actually heard of it, but apparently it's really like cozy and nice. I've seen it? some pictures of it. It looks really nice. It looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. To be fair. So yeah, big up to the big up to the Ra uh, new no, it's Ray Vera, Ray Vera, Ray, Ray Vera. Vera. I was gonna get <laughs> confused <laughs> with another name there. That that is some some no, they're Guernsey. They're Guernsey boys. So got some more island boys. Um, yeah, I mean they're both from Guernsey. I think. One of them still lives there, and I think another one lives in London now. So that's where the connection happened. Right, right. So yeah, if anyone um, if anyone is interested, we're gonna have it's gonna be Grey Code actually headlining with with Dusky, mm -hmm. uh, and then Mister Yano here, uh, and then myself and Emma B back to back with some other support as well. What date is that? What date is that, James? Can you remind me what date that is? Fifteenth of May. Fifteenth of May. There you go. It's a Sunday, but it's like a daytime. It's a daytime thing. I think tickets have have actually just gone up. Mm. I think that just got announced it's like six, an it's, hour ago. It's, it's six. It's six to eleven. I'm being told by my lovely assistant, who's doing such a fantastic <laughs> job this evening. I have to really, uh, you know, really have to shout out my assistant. Um, yeah, it's six to eleven apparently. So it's it should be like an early early ish uh, Sunday rave. So if anyone wants to come, is that that be your first booking in London? Right, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my first London show. That'd be fun. There we go. Look, it's all fucking happening. It's all fucking happening for. Well, I, we probably should probably should clear up. I want to clear up. How do you one hundred percent say your name? It's Yano, it's Yano, right? It is Yano. Yeah, yeah. That's how I say it. But I mean, that's how I've, I've been I've saying had, it. I've had many different versions of it. At this point. <laughs> what's like, your What's your favorite version? <laughs> ya probably, ya Yano, Yano. Probably Nick. Um, play Black Nick. So crook, crook. Uh, called crook, me. Crook, you know. Is that crook, crook or crook? Crook or crook? That's a good it's question. As well. I think it's, I, I call him crook. Uh, he called me. I he called him him, crook. He, he's, I think it's crook. <laughs> <laughs> he got, what did he call you? He called me. You know. So uh, y you know. <laughs> yeah. That was another one. That's probably like the the most off center one I've heard yet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've been... There's obviously the the southerners, which put more of the uh, like the Yano. Yano, Yano. Oh, I love Yano. Oh, I'm going to see Yano tonight. <laughs> it's going to be so. It's go it's going to be lit, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> um, have we have we got any more questions in here? Uh, Emma just said, James, you disappoint me 
Move to Brighton. She wants you to move to Brighton. Look, I, I think, look, if you don't get a house in Bristol within the next six months, just come to Brighton, honestly. Like, we've, I'll be there in six months. We've, 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 so. we've got a beach. Yeah, but you may not. You may not. That's the other thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, and you could just yeah. come and live the dream in Brighton. We've got the seagulls. We've got the Volks. I mean, what do, we, more, more do I need to say? We've got the Volks. They're getting a new sound system fitted in there. So, you know, it's going to be sick. Yeah. You've got the, 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 the pier as well that we went to. That was fun. The pier. You cannot yeah. go wrong wrong with the pier. There's yeah. there's more. There's more. You know, I think revenge as well. You would love revenge. I really think that. What's you, revenge? It's just a really great club that I think that you'd really fit in. Um, they love bears there. Wait, what is it? What, what is it? Am I laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being naughty. I'm being naughty. Um, let's let's have a go. Uh, James, what is your opinion on this sick um, upcoming <laughs> artist called Andrex? His shit is truly bussing, and I believe mm. he's next up for real. I mean, is that is that a no, is that a I, statement that you agree it. with? I've heard his stuff. He's doing um he's doing really well actually. Um, You're right him. Yeah, it's proper sick. Okay. I've a few of his things. Wicked. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Look, there's that apparently his his uh he's, um, he's shit is in, truly bussing. He's surprisingly he's from Luton as well, which is mental. Um, because you don't really see that many artists from Luton, but. Yeah. I mean, Kyrus is from Luton. Oh, is she? Oh, they probably know each other then. There you go. I don't. I don't know if you're being serious or not. I don't know if, if I. <laughs> I think I kind of feel like you're not being serious right now. <laughs> I'm really totally. I don't, I'm gonna watch out for you. I'm gonna watch out for you in this interview. Uh, <laughs> looks like we got Dan Dan Paget, aka Padgy Boy, is uh, is in here. We've got two people. Why? Why is your face bald? I know, I know. People are not used to seeing this. Me with my, <laughs> me with my. I mean, you've got a stubble, to be fair. I, I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie. This was pretty much wet shaved two days ago. That's how quick this thing grows. Like it will That's be. Mental. Uh... Um. Oh, we got someone here who said, uh, "I just finished an album. It's taken me a total of three years to write." That is. There you go. There you I mean, go. There you go. That is how long an album can take to write. That is a. Um. What else we got? Uh, Emma also says this, she she will cook you dinner most nights if you move to Brighton. And I mean, you, she does cook very good food, to be you've, fair. You've tasted some of Emma's food, to be fair. And I think that if that doesn't seal the deal, I don't know what will. <laughs> it's it tempting. tempting. Man's tempted. Man's tempted. <laughs> uh, and someone put, this EP should get a vinyl release. Where is it? Which, I don't know which EP. Well, is that the last EP? Maybe well, it's not an it's not an EP. See, this is the problem. It's a single, <laughs> and unfortunately, yeah, you know we can't press everything to vinyl. I know that I would like to. Ollie's trying to rein me in a bit, so that I'm just not getting too carried away, not pressing vinyl. Is it is an ambition? Is an ambition of yours to to, to press on vinyl one day? No, far from it. To be fair, because um. In you my... don't care. Yeah, this is nah, this is how much of a this is how much of an obnoxious new new scene kid that you are. <laughs> that just worries about Discord and SoundCloud and Spotify. Who, who, That's the thing. Look at these vinyl, like, these vinyl people. I just think if I, <laughs> if I could get the music out, you know, four or five months earlier, probably even more, I'd rather do that and move on to the next projects rather than still worrying about something that is still on the way no patience these kids these days they've got yeah, short they've yeah. got short attention spans you see they just don't want to wait do. <laughs> i actually do i have issues with my attention is that what what like have you actually been diagnosed or or is this just like no 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 just like i i i just lose focus very easily but i've never i've never been tested <laughs> i don't i don't want the uh i don't want the truth delivered to me i, I mean yeah. to be fair <laughs> I, I can, I can, yeah, I like, I can, I can get it. Like, yeah, I do think, I think it's a generational yeah. thing as well. Not just me. I but. think that there is something in that. I don't know whether that's just me being like an older, an old person, but there does seem to be like a bit of a, like a difference between, I mean, how old are you now? How old are you now? 23. 23. So yeah, I've got, I've got basically 10 years on you and that's a lot of, you know, that is a lot of time. And yeah. you, you know, and I'm starting to feel old, and like, you know, <laughs> just, just you, you kids coming through now, and like, it just works. You just, it's just different. It's just different. 
It's not like yeah. it's not like how it was back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of it is down to like social media though, because like, well, you know, you you just scroll past posts all the time, and you don't really pay focus to them, so you don't really have much to focus on anyway. So when you actually have to focus on something, you don't really know how to do it. <laughs> maybe that's just me. <laughs> I mean, it may be, but maybe I, I guess there is like um, some there'll be some sort of like pay payoff, or maybe that's not the right term. But yeah, some sort of trade-off maybe, like you're saying, because where you're kind of constantly bombarded with so much information mm -hmm. that you obviously, you, you can't physically handle it all. I mean, obviously yeah. it happens to us, it happens to us oldies as well, but maybe because of, our, cause of our, our brains, you know, we were kind of like hardwired a bit earlier, like mm -hmm. just kind of pre-internet and pre- pre-smartphones like I, yeah i know obviously you you know you can still you're kind of not that you know you're not that that young you know if you are like 16 yeah. you know uh, 16 TikTok, you know 16 now tiktok good old tiktok <laughs> <laughs> you know but that's the thing yeah you know yeah you know the difference in it because you know the kids coming through they're 16 now i mean they probably they don't remember a time when there wasn't smartphones i mean and that that to yeah. me that to me is very scary but you kind of, I mean, do, what do you remember? I mean, well, actually, no. What what would you have been? You'd have been ten. You'd have been ten in two thousand and ten. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. You'd have been ten. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to swear there. But <laughs> please, please don't. Please don't cancel me. Too far. I remember my first of a phone was still. It was still like one of the small, like keyboardy ones. So, a BlackBerry. Then, you had a BlackBerry. Nah, I always wanted a BlackBerry, but I never got one. So, my first phone Mom. was um, it was like a, a really cheap Nokia. It's almost like a burner phone. Oh, uh, and it had the it had the flip out keyboard on it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I remember that. See, uh, the, and I miss you go I, as well. Yes, mate. I, I don't know. Do you know what? I I do nostalgically miss those telephones. I miss the Motorola, you know, the... the yeah, opening, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it's such a satisfying action. We need to bring that back. Yeah. Apple, if you're watching. I mean, this is good, <laughs> but why doesn't it flip? And why can't I pull up an aerial on it? Like, come on, that would just be so much, like, more malleable. There'd be more to do more to, more to to do with it. Yeah, I do miss it. I might get might get an old phone just for, like, the nostalgia purposes, just to, like, have it. I remember when, when you like... make it the, the overview phone and then you've got your personal one. Or do it the other way around. Oh yeah, maybe just for maybe just for texts, maybe just for texts. Like, text when you're fed up of everyone just messaging you. Maybe, you just put it to maybe maybe that could be the one. Maybe I could actually get like an overview number that people could call or mm. text, and it would just be on this burner phone. Yeah. Uh, this like you turn it off trap. after five pm. <laughs> no one, no one can contact me. <laughs> um yeah no but it, it's it you know it's, it's interesting it's interesting seeing it i mean i'm not gonna lie the kids coming the kids coming through now like i mean i as you as you know i got myself a, a vr headset uh recently <laughs> which yeah, that was funny was definitely one of the more off the wall purchases that i've made in the probably my sick, entire though. life yeah i'm not gonna lie like i am um, it's yeah i've been really yeah, I've been really... It's been mind-blowing, to be honest with you. It has been a bit like... I can't believe this is possible already. But if I have played online, it is... You can tell that it is very, very young. Like, it is a very... Yeah. There, I mean, obviously, there mm -hmm. are a few other people there. But, you know, if you were on there, like... Yeah, you got, like, 14-year-olds, uh, you know, from, <laughs> from America. I mean, you're probably used to playing with it, like, on Call of Duty or, or, or online already. Mm -hmm. I I haven't been so much to be honest with you because I I haven't like had such involvement with with games consoles for a while. And what was I, your last one? Man, my last games console. Well, my last games console was technically a GameCube. Uh, if you can remember, oh, wow. yeah, yeah, we had like Mario <laughs> Mario Kart Double Dash on that. Which uh, well, you that, still had good games then. You had like the bangers. Nowadays, it's like. Mate, there was some really good. Price. There was some really good games. I think I did. I did have a PS3. Um, that was my last like proper, like next gen games console. But I sold mm. that so I could go on holiday to Amsterdam. That was what I. Oh, uh, and and then literally since then, I've never, I've never owned uh, a games console since. Um, 
not that I've ever been like and I know some people thought that I'm like anti games. <laughs> I'm not. I'm definitely not anti games. I just feel like sometimes like yeah, it and and I found it already with it. It can it, that is a real addiction that can also mm. end up like destroying any time that you have but i think it's obviously good to like have an outlet and just for, it's fun like there's like that's the thing it's fun and you can't knock that and and i'm not gonna lie like i've had a lot of fun playing with this uh with this vr headset now um <laughs> it was <laughs> quite fun when i used it over yours to be fair yeah no no I, I literally put it on just to look around that fishing lake but it's fun yeah, I've, I've I've been finding my feet with it. I've been finding my feet with it. So uh, maybe next time when you're around, we can have a proper mm. like um, session with it. But what I, what I think we're going back to the point was that there are some kids on there, and you can I can really tell a difference. Like I mm. really yeah, there's a, even just the kind of way that people talk or interact, maybe yeah. and maybe and obviously be you know obviously when it's in an online world and you're not in the physical world and how people talk it's very like i'm trying to get my head around it like it is very kind of like well is this is this how people talk now <laughs> like i've got to yeah. catch up i, feel I mean like, it's like, maybe i'm in the past i don't know like kids personalities are completely different as well like you look at like i don't know if it's because of social media again that kids are way more confident now than like i was at their age mm. maybe so, maybe 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 it's more more grown up maybe i would say i'm not sure whether uh, yeah maybe they're confident but then maybe then like maybe they're confident online but they're not actually as confident in the real world maybe yeah it's true um i think that could you know maybe have a bit of a distortion in that way and obviously if you learn to interact online the difference mm. between then re interacting in the real world and there are people that you know must be out there that will yeah, do a lot of their their main socialising. <laughs> uh, we got we got uh, Edward. Uh, we get uh, what's James? What's your opinion on furry drip? Apparently, uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, 50, 50, it says fifty fifty. What's your opinion on William Defoe's drip? Uh, I feel like my yeah, G... he's got pretty good drip actually. Yeah, he says if I feel like my G been out here doing packs for a while now. No cap. So. Yeah, it's true, it's true. William Defoe is a pretty, uh, pretty. <laughs> he's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. Uh, um, Ro Rohan asks, "Do you like celeratory music? Celeratory? Oh, what, celerity? Celerity music? What's that? What, what's what? What's celerity? Um, music? it is a uh, house producer. It's a house yeah. producer. It is. Yeah. Do I do I want to do I want to actually? check it out or yeah yeah it's yeah? pretty good i mean this he's got isn't... one track but it's pretty good he's got one track but yeah it's one singular track but it's one singular good track so you'd rather have one good one than four shit ones so Lo that is uh, that's a good that's a good ratio right there yeah. uh we we have a serious question here from kalin big up to kalin um question for yano Obviously, just making a point. It's for you, not for me. <laughs> uh, who's your most inspiring artist? <laughs> um, drum and bass or not drum and bass? Um, I mean, he hasn't really given. I tell you what, give us, give us, give us one for non drum and bass, one for drum and bass. Um, I think we had this question last time as we well. We did. I swear, we. I, I swear, I swear, it, yeah. I swear, this, this is what happens. Like every, I swear, this is like. Who's your inspiration? I tell you what, let's mix it up. Who's your inspiration that's not actually a musician? Like, who's your who's one of who's like your mu your muse outside of drum and bass or outside of music? Who's like who do you really like? Really, really I mean, sets it off for you. Is it William Defoe? It could be William Defoe. You know, <laughs> it's probably between him or like David Attenborough. Yeah, David I'm Attenborough. Attenborough. Really? Yeah, he's a great guy. I mean, he's doing well for his age, so. I mean, you have to give a lot. You have to give a lot of credit to David Attenborough. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, chicken tikka or korma? What's your What's your personal preference? I'm a simple man, so I go for korma. Although my favourite now is actually um, a lambuna. A lambuna. Ooh. Yeah. Do like a good lambuna. Do like mm. a good lambuna. There you go. Well, that's um, 
What's your what, what what's your what's your go to dish if we're to if Yano if Yano's gonna be cooking coming over here cooking if you're gonna um, if you're gonna cook me and Emma a lovely meal. Oh what what would I cook? Yeah, what would you cook for us? What's, um, what's your what's your go to? Can you like cook? <laughs> Can you cook? Do like a, <laughs> right. I probably do like a steak on the George Foreman or a cheese toasty. That's as far as I get. <laughs> I was gonna say you can't you can't cook, can you? Nah, that's as far you as can. I can. <laughs> Mate, you're not gonna. Bristol's gonna be a Bristol's gonna be a wake up call for you, Sunday, Jim. Nah, there'll be a Five Guys somewhere. I'm gonna. Be <laughs> oh, mate, <laughs> you're gonna be. Sp yeah, that's gonna be like laying down fifty quid like every time. You would just want to. Yeah, eat. I'm gonna have to make sure that I've got bookings going because otherwise I'm not gonna survive. Um, crispy asks, how many kicks can you fit into a three minute fifteen track? Oh. How many do you think that? How many do you think is actually possible? Um, what What is the actual possible amount if you were to actually like? I, don't I know. mean, you could probably fit you, a could, lot ma you could mathematically work it out. You have two, two times sixteen. We're gonna get we're gonna get a proper answer for this one. You thought you thought you were joking with us. You thought you were joking with us, but we are actually gonna we're actually gonna come to you with a, a real answer. <clears throat> so you could probably somewhere between like two hundred and eighty five and three hundred. That's how many I'd probably get. You would I mean you could put more <laughs> in, but that's right that's if you did what? Two two every Yeah, so I'm thinking two every bar. You got 16 bars for more or less like 20, 22 seconds for 16 bars. So you could probably get three of them more or less in a minute. So then times three for three minutes. I think that you're going to have to make this tune. I mean, I probably <laughs> haven't. I probably have before. <laughs> yeah, there you more go. or less around them. There you go. Look, uh, Crispy likes the answer, but I suppose he says thank you. He says thank you. Good. Uh, we also have another question here from um, a certain Rohan Fishwick um, who asks, hello, James. Asking Hi. from Mumbai, India, do you consider yourself a Stobart spotter? My dad loves a it. And a Stobart spotter. My, a Stobart? my dad loves it and enters competitive Stobart spotting competitions. Wait, I need to look up. I think, I, I think a Stobart is like I swear it's a type of truck, isn't it? Um, isn't it a Stobart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. An, Ed, an Eddie Stobart lorry. I mean, they're oh, like, that's like cool, they're, they're like iconic. That is like iconic yeah. transport infrastructure of the UK right so now. His dad is like a Brummie Francis. Pretty cool. I mean, I think I think so. I think why not? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no. If you were to have a good yeah. hobby, um, I might, I might take it up. To be fair, that's cool. What's what? Do you have any other? Do you have any other hobbies outside of? Uh, or is your 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 soul like side hustle and hobby is is music? I'm guessing. Do you have um, Do you have anything? Well, like... apart from making music, playing games, watching films, and selling lingerie, I don't have much else to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is the lingerie business going? Yeah, yeah, it's fun, fun. Um, I mean, it's not so fun when you have to deal with Amazon, but it's okay. Oh no, Jeff Bezos giving you a hard time. He does. Everything's just so long-winded. Takes ages, but I mean, it makes good money. So you need to send me over the catalogue, man. I'll have a look, see if I can pick a couple of bits out. Yeah, yeah. There's some great models on it as well. You right? get, you get, you get some, you get some good discount, right? Um. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe maybe let's talk about this after the uh after <laughs> the show has been done i'll send you th there's a link for the shop i don't know if i'm actually allowed to to, to share well I i'm guessing i am but yeah i'll share it with you pete uh Ed edward has got another question he says james has an officer ever done something that even your bm hasn't done not even your links. Oh, um, yeah, but I'm not allowed to disclose that information on on stream, unfortunately. But yeah, he's shown a few things they shouldn't have shown. And, uh... You can make it that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the link. Anyway, I will check it out. All good. Um, 
Do we have much more? Do we have much more we need to talk about? Do you have anything more you want? Um, like? How are you, Pete? How am How am I? Because it was all about me, but then I saw you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. No, I'm good. Uh, well, I I actually I think I actually have COVID at the moment. So. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, me and Emma managed to get COVID. Sorry to like now bring now to just like completely bring <laughs> that bring down the 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 tone of this conversation, but yeah, I managed to get COVID for a third time. Um, and yeah, I got it after the, I think we oh, I got it after this weekend. I get we managed to get Marcus got it as well. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's been a bit of a, a bit of an interesting week. <laughs> like just kind of dealing with that. Had it for? uh probably since well since monday tuesday i think we kind of marcus left yeah marcus left sunday and i think then he told me on monday that he had it but we were starting mm. we were starting to feel you what sorry sunday, I felt like shit. yeah we were feeling kind of bad like sunday into monday yeah yeah it's been a yeah i've been just again one of those things the risk risks we kind of take uh going out Obviously, Plague Island, uh, the UK is pretty bad for, pretty bad for COVID right now. So, um, I mean, it's becoming more controlled, I suppose. How we can, I think there's more information <laughs> now than we've ever had, like slowly, more and more. So, yeah, so, and yeah. like, and like, look, like it's not like having this has been that bad. I mean, obviously, there'll be people out mm -hmm. there that will, will, would have it worse than than me. But I had it the the time the first time we had it was a lot worse in terms of yeah. just how ill it made us so it's obviously becoming milder blah 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 obviously still has made it a bit frustrating because i don't i can't leave you know i can't really leave the house now <clears throat> mm. or anything but no i you know it's um look it could be worse um yeah you know yeah i had a good weekend <laughs> i had a really good weekend anyway so i don't like it, it was worth it it was worth it and yeah. I'm well. I'm look. I'm fortunate. I'm in a position where I can still work from home, and mm -hmm. it's not sort of completely affected me. Yeah, too 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 much. Looking at what's going on in the world at the moment, it certainly. Uh, yeah, I can't. I'm not going to sit here and start like crying my crying my eyes out or or getting too <laughs> too uh, yeah too caught up about it. Uh, but you know, other than that, like I'm alright. Just busy. Just very busy. We got. Um, yeah, obviously a lot of releases happening and a lot of all the nights now coming back round. So mm. yeah, it's just been yeah a lot of work. Just trying to keep trying to stay on top of it all. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. It's a fun job being being Peter Piper running over your music. <laughs> I give it my best attempts, but no, we're all right. We're all right. Um, it was really good. The the uh, the the event that you came to um, the overview show. That was a really, really mm. good night. Um, I wish I could have been there for the whole night. It was, it was a shame. But <laughs> I feel like I missed apparently like the busiest part. When I got there, everyone was just kind of calming down at that point. And I was like, oh. yeah. they're still sick. Yeah, no, and look, fair play to you, man. Like, you know, um, yeah, traveling all day and, and all the rest of it. And mm. it was it was a late one. We obviously wanted you to play at. Um, mm-hmm. But you did miss a good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like Callum and um Callum and Hask were hilarious and yeah, it was just a really vibey, vibey show. Mm. And hopefully hopefully some more stuff. So when are you when are you back over in the UK? You obviously got this thing in um May. Have you got any more shows lined up that we can reveal? I need to start writing them down. Um I need to start writing them down. I need to know what's going on. I can't remember, but I, I, think <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be in the UK as a bystander this month for obviously print works just to go and watch. Oh, nice. That'll be fun. So hopefully see some people there. Um, and then obviously a lot of people we know will be either playing or just attending. So it'll be fun. All the gang will be there. I, I am hopefully going to be there. Nice. I'm cool. going to, obviously we got... We have got overview at Trinity Printworks uh, on the Friday mm. if anyone is around, um, and then yeah, I was going to plan to do double double header of a weekend. Uh, roll roll on through to uh, yeah, roll on through to Printworks, mm. which is going to be uh, 
yeah, that's going to be fun. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it'll be too, too bad because I think quite a few people are going to Bristol and then going straight as well to Printworks anyway. So it'll probably, you can all travel together and you can all suffer together. So it won't be as bad. Yeah, but I would say that some of those people probably aren't going to have to suffer like me because I will have to be there right till the end of the Trinity Centre night. I mean, I, I could, I could, I could, I could go home early, but I'm not sure I'd want to. Whereas a lot of yeah, people, a lot of people, point. a lot of people are just gonna like, they'll they'll end up leaving at like two o'clock and then be like, I'm gonna print marks tomorrow. I need to go get some sleep. <laughs> I can hear, I can hear them now. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you know, I'm, I'm gonna be doing it. okay. Well, that's gonna be good. I mean, I, I'm hoping to get along because it would be lovely to see you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you there anyway. Wait, how long is it? Like thanks, thanks for the word, guys. Thanks for the words, guys. By the way, Andreas said, "Get well soon, Pete." Thank you. Marcus called me a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, I mean, Primworks is only actually two weeks away. I don't know yeah, no, saying. mate. The whole thing's fucking coming around quick. So, that would be good. Yeah. It'd be good. Well, look, I think um, I won't keep you too much longer because I feel like we've chat chatted enough shit. Um, <laughs> obviously, if anyone hasn't already, please do go check out the Lust back-to-back Feel You single that is out now on Overview from Mr. Yano here, which, uh, mm. yeah, it's been getting a really good reaction. A lot of people love it. I love, you know, I've been playing playing, playing both tracks and been getting a good reaction, so mm. big vibes, yeah. big vibes. It's been supported pretty nicely, which is good. So. Yeah, no, no, it is. it's been good, man. It's been good. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to check that out, have you got anything that you'd like to plug? Anything you'd like to say? Anybody you'd like to thank? Um, no, not really. It's been fun. <laughs> no, um... not really. Fuck them all. I'm the, <laughs> fuck them all. I'm the best. I don't need to thank anyone. <laughs> I just, uh, I think if I start plugging anyone, then I'll miss someone else out, and then it's not fair. So that's the truth. That, it's a bit. It's better to play it safe. Uh, yeah. Where where can people find you? Where can they? What's your handles? Um, where 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 can people get at Yano? You can check the Instagram at Yano Music. There you, you go. Can, so you can keep up to things there. Obviously Spotify, um, SoundCloud, all that stuff. And then if you want obviously a bit more of me either complaining or just making jokes, check Twitter as well. <laughs> That's where most people go follow up, and obviously join. Mm-hmm. You got the the you got you on uh, Patreon still, or are you, have you closed? Uh... No, nah, no, nah, we stopped doing that just because, okay. like we were saying before about sort of having time to do stuff. It was kind of it was kind of getting in the way and becoming more of a burden, which meant we didn't really provide the best quality that we wanted to. Yeah. So we thought we'd rather not do it at all than just provide you know half our stuff. So That's maybe in the future, if I manage to go full time, then. I'll bring it back, but okay. at the moment it's. it's you still bad. got your you still got your Discord server that people can can go and listen yeah to. yeah we've still got all that going. Um, I think there's a link in my Instagram bio for that if anyone still wants to join. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, look. Thank you so much, uh, Senor James. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We will. Uh, I'll be back with the podcast soon. I haven't, I haven't actually been doing an overview podcast. I, I had a month out, so I'll probably be back this month. And yeah, if you haven't already, go check out the the tracks. Buy it if you're feeling it. Give it a Definitely stream. It. Just keep on streaming it. Mm. Just stream it repetitively for 24 hours so we can <laughs> boost the algorithm. Uh, and yeah, cheers, James, mate. I will chat to you very soon, without a doubt. Thank you. See you soon. Big up for everyone listening and watching. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>